Hey, what up fellas? We're about to head out on the boat and today we're gonna be using the tippy top secret bait. That is if the bait shops have it. We're gonna be rigging up some of these guys with some crazy baits on there. And I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by Fish Brain. So let's get out there. We out here at the bait shop and it's looking like they got what we need. They got bait and they got bait at the bait shop. Who would have thought? We got it boys. We got the stuff we wanted. Oh, creepy freaking crawlies. Look at that freak sea lice and of course we also have the classic blue crabs judging by that bait you already know what we're going for we're going in for some big old gaff top actually we're going for black drum and some redfish let's go get them let's go get them let's go get them We're almost to our spot here, and let me tell you, one of the best ways to get better at fishing is just keeping a log about all your catches. And that's why I'm happy that this video is sponsored by Fish Brain. On Fish Brain, you're able to keep a log of all your catches along with having all the details, all the weather details, and then you can also put down all the stuff you caught it on. But on top of being able to keep a log of your fish, there's also a ton of other cool features. You can connect with other anglers, see what other people are catching and what they're catching it on. And there's also an interactive map where you can see what areas are producing. You can just click on this and see what is being caught in the area. Of course, at the jetties, we've got some redfish, some black drums, some speckled trout, some sheepers in there. Looks like people are doing pretty good right now. And if you also get Fish Brain Premium, you can see exactly the spots where people are catching them. But the good thing is with your own catches, if you don't want to let people know where you're catching them, you don't have to. You can hide that information if you want. Another one of my favorite things about this app is when you're logging a catch, there's an algorithm that can tell what kind of fish it is just from the picture. So let's check out one of my fish. Here's one of my big Jack of Alls I caught right here. And let's see if it gets it right. It does. 90%, 96% jack of all and that is absolutely correct it actually gets it right most of the time another one of the premium features on the map is bite time if you click on it you can see when when should be good times to fish for certain different species look at all these different fishies man we got specks reds black drum again even some flat boys in there the app now also has a shop that has some of your favorite stuff from your favorite brands and you can buy stuff right from the app and also online you can buy some of the stuff just like the junk I'm using. Some of the junk I'm using up here. So yeah, download the app and check out the link down in the description for 10% off in the Fish Brain store. All right, let's get started. I think we're in a really sick spot. Plan is we got four, four rods right here and we're just gonna splay these all around the boat. Um, What bait do we want? I guess we'll go in with the crab. Ooh, this crab's kinda, kinda nasty. All right, let me show you how we rig up these crabs. First off, we're gonna pull off the that outer top shell right here. Obviously this guy is a male. <laughs> Let's go up the back and then just pop it off. And that's some good chum right there. And then you wanna you wanna cut off the legs because you're gonna be putting the hook through the legs and if you just pull off the legs, a lot of uh, the meat will come out right here. And this meat is really good meat right here because it is pr protected. The little fish aren't gonna get to it as much as they will the gills and everything up here. Oh, we almost lost it. We're gonna go with a little bit smaller baits because we want to target any size that may be here and also redfish. On this rig, we're just going simple, simple jig head. Doesn't get more easy than that, especially because this area, it just doesn't have any current. So we don't need a ton of weight. We don't need fancy, smancy rigs. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distract Mantis shrimp Sea lice Crab There we go boys that's what we wanted. Oh, the freaking bait caster of all things. It's not that strong. It's just got low drag. Man, we tossed this guy up shallow. I think this is the crab too. This is what we're waiting for. God, dude, this has to be red. Up super shallow. God, he's not weak. He ain't weak. <laughs> Fishing on this little boat. 
You gotta move, maneuver around a little bit. Of course, dude. We have all these bait bait rods rigged up, and it goes for the one rod that is made for lower fishing. Oh well, that that rod almost looked like it was gonna go, but I think it's just because we're turning because this fish. Oh my god, dude. This is bigger than I thought it was. Haven't seen it yet though. Dude, look at that. Come back. No, he's coming back. Holy cow, dude. I'm trying to get him around this rod. Oh. Oh, we might have to go under. He, the fish is telling us what, what, what's what. Oh, keep the tension. Oh no, we hooked our line. <laughs> dude. This fish is way bigger than I thought it was. It's not a super giant, but on this rod, this is my trout rod. Everything feels like a super giant, huh? I think this was crab. Look at that, dude, sick. Get him in. <laughs> He's really not that big. He should not have put up that good of a fight. But I'll take it, man. Let's go. God, how are you so powerful, man? I thought you would have been like at least five inches bigger. Heck of a fighter. I, th I think, I really think it was crab. All right, look at that guy. This guy, he should have not put up that good of a fight on me, but I guess I'm just super weak. It's a really nice fish though. I'll take, definitely take it. Let's let this beautiful guy go. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a revival because he fought like crazy. Yeah, there he goes. Woo. Nice, dude. Let's go! Just caught that sick red, so let's log that puppy in here. We're logging this catch. Look at that sick pick too. <laughs> I was worried a little bit. I thought it was gonna say it was a largemouth. And then we can choose the gear that we actually caught this guy on. So we caught this guy on bait. I have to say, I have to believe it was on the crab. Yes sir, blue crab right there. I will know to use some blue crab. <laughs> Who didn't know to use some blue crab for some redfish already though? Clutch redfish on some good old crab. Can't beat that. We do have the fish finder rig. Throw a little sinker on there just to keep it down here. And one spot you don't want to use is just, one spot you don't want to use just a simple jig head is if you have very muddy bottoms because it will just sink right through the mud. Something like this would be better for that because your bait is not going to be weighted. It's not going to sink down. And what is going to go on here? Is one of these bad boys. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Usually with these sea lice. Oh, he's cra He's crazy mad. Look at that guy. Ugh. With these sea lice, I like to get them, fold them in half and get the hook through two of these scales right here. Kind of tough to get through, especially with a circle hook. All right, which one do you think is gonna work? Crab or sea lice? You guys got your money on crab or sea lice? Place your bets now. Now if we can, the dream is to catch a black drum to get both of our targeted species. Hmm, thought I would get a bite, man. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, there's a guy. Golly, this guy's far out there too. It's on the big rod. God, right at sunset. I was about to start packing up my rods. Man, he's far out there. Now we know for sure this is on the mantis shrimp. Oh, are we? Maybe I'm getting another bite. I might be getting another bite. No, I think it's just because the boat's turning <laughs> from this fish. No, it's another fish, I think. Is there another fish? Oh yeah, it's another fish. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I knew, knew sunset was gonna be good. Got that guy almost in. Oh, let's make sure we get a hook set. Unfortunately, the bat, okay, we can put it right here. It's gonna say those front rod holders, the rod can get pulled out of them, but this guy shouldn't. This guy was super shallow, didn't fight too hard look at that that's sick dude <laughs> come here come here bud we gotta get you in 
Ah, another nice one. He did get it deep. Ah, oh my God, dude, look at that rod. <laughs> oh my God, he's still ripping. He's about to get tangled up. All right, unfortunately, this guy got it really deep. But that means he's gonna be dinner. And I will figure out what the heck's going on with this man. This might be the biggest one yet, fellas. This might be the biggest one yet. I can't really stop him. This might be the, a big guy. Dude, it's, it's insane, because I was actually about to start reeling in my rods. Sun is down now. And not even like 30 seconds later, we get two hookups at the same time. And we got dinner on top of it. Sea lice might be <laughs> one of my new favorite baits for redfish. It was my favorite bait already for black drum. <sighs> I don't want to play this guy out forever. I want him to get back healthy, so we're going to put it on him. Increases the chance we lose it, but... We want a healthy fish. Man, oh man! It could even be a black drum. I think it's too skinny. We were casting way up here, and it is very shallow up there. So I don't think it could be. Ah, this, the black drum do go shallow too, though. Okay, this is kind of insane, man. I honestly didn't expect to catch something this big. Oh my god, that's a big fish! It, I think it's a black drum, dude. Oh, I'm so scared. It's a black drum, dude. Let's go. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted on the sea lice and crab. And it's a big one. And he's wrapped though. <gasps> That's bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's big. He might cut me off here. Oh my God, you're joking me. We had him, now he just reset the whole game. My line is rubbing on his... Are you joking me? Come on. Oh, come on. Oh my god, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, that's a sea monster, baby. Oh, dude, his freaking head is so big. Oh, we got him. He's, he's unwrapped, too, so we're chilling, I think. <laughs> line snaps right there. That'd be classic. All right, bud. I'm about to blow your guys' minds. It's shallow right here. It's pretty shallow. You probably thought I was in six feet of water. Hey, what's up, fella? Holy, dude. Oh my God, it's almost spooky being next to this guy. He's so big. Like he's not ultra, 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 ultra huge, but his head is just massive. Imagine if these guys had crazy sharp teeth. That'd be a spooky fish. Hello? Oh man. Dude, his head is so big. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Look how big his mouth is. Oh my goodness. Look at that freaking head. Oh golly, dude. Look at that freaking fish. Oh my goodness god dude what a freaking fish i've caught big black drum but dude there's just the freaking head size on the head the head on this guy thank you for the fight buddy you're gonna get even bigger dude you're gonna get even bigger how about that though the little little bait caster getting the workout of a lifetime so the mantis shrimp definitely won the day, but that was not the best crab we could have had. I want to run it back and I want to get some nice fresh crab and maybe use the whole, the whole crab in there. See if we can get some real monsters. That was a pretty big black drum. Not the biggest one I ever caught, but man, he had a big old head on him. Let me know if you want me to run it back with some big old whole blue crab. See if we can catch a true sea monster. And if you're interested, make sure to check out Fish Brain in the description. I love you guys very much. We'll see you guys next time.